Yo, what's going on guys, Nizion here bringing you another video on the channel. Now in today's video, I'll be showing you on how you can go ahead and make your storage much larger on the PlayStation 5 console with an external hard drive. But before I get started with today's video, if you aren't new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and turn on notification to keep up with all the quality gaming content under 10 minutes. Now without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how you guys can go ahead and upgrade your PlayStation 5 storage very cheaply and easily. Now what you'll first need is obviously an S. SD or an external SSD in uh, in specific. I'll leave some links down below in the description to which ones you'll need to go ahead and purchase with the specifications and the which ones I'm personally using right now. And essentially, after you've got your external SSD, you want to go ahead and plug it in via USB into your back of the PlayStation 5. So not into the front of the PlayStation 5, but into the back of the PlayStation 5 with the USB-C ports. Now, once you are done that, you go into the settings of your PlayStation 5 and you go down into the storage option and once you're under the storage option you can click on the usb extended storage option as you can see right here you can see the name of my ssd is extreme ssd with only uh, about 679.9 gigabytes of free space left and it has about a terabyte of storage and i've gotten into it around 238.4 gigabytes of games which is minecraft gta 5 black ops 3 as well as call of duty modern warfare warzone so those are the ps4 games that i have but say for example you want to put ps5 games which are obviously way more storage and take more storage capacity you do the same uh thing over here by just selecting all of them and clicking the move option as you can see on my console i don't have any playstation 5 games that i can move because i don't have any physical playstation 5 games downloaded on the console but once you do have you just go ahead and select the ones you want to move and then you'll be able to have it inside your playstation 5 uh, uh or sorry into the external ssd instead of your playstation 5 so then you'll be able to see that if you go under your console storage uh you'll have more space available to you you only have around 825 gigabytes of actual storage on the playstation 5 right now until they do upgrade the ability to go ahead and add your own internal ssd with the m.2 drive being able to be used with a future firmware update but currently right now this is the best way to do so just go ahead and get yourself an external ssd plug it in and it should work per perfectly fine obviously i recommend doing it with an ssd because if you do it with a hard drive it'll only be able to move over um, ps4 games so you will not be able to move over playstation 5 games with an external hard drive but only an external ssd will allow you to move playstation 5 games over and back and make sure that you do not unplug your external ssd whenever you do this because then you'll be able to get a lot of issues that might uh wait you so just don't corrupt your uh ssd or external ssd by unplugging it just keep it always plugged into the back of your console and whenever you want to remove it you go under the settings and just safely eject it i'll have another video down below showing you guys a, a more in-depth tutorial on how to do that but i wanted to make this video as quick as possible to just give you guys a better understanding of how you guys can use the external ssd on your playstation 5 console just for now until you get that ability to upgrade that internal storage space now that's been it for today's video if you guys have any questions comments or concerns please be sure to leave it in the comment section down below i'll try my best to answering every single question down there it's been a boy i'll be catching you guys in my next video peace out